Vapors, Everyday Vapor back again with a hardware review of the Cloudpour A1 RTA. Very kindly sent to me by the guys at Gearbest. They do send me a lot of hardware to review, so I'm very thankful for that. And uh, you can find them at vapor.gearbest.com. So thanks very much to you guys. Uh, so this is a 3.5 mil holding four post RTA. So what we'll do is have a look at it close up, then we'll come up and talk about its technical specifications and its pros and cons. The Clauper A1 sub ohm rebuildable tank. Okay, so let's have a look in this little pack first. I'm not gonna show you the box, the reason being it came in a box for the Z4, which is their clear remiser. Okay, so what we've got in here, a couple of coils, which I'm not going to use. I like using my own, and some Muji cotton, it looks like, Japanese cotton. And then the tank itself. The box is very nice, it's just the wrong box. Um, as you can see, there's a space here for a spare coil of some description. Okay, so the tank. Okay, first impressions, it's a good looking bit of kit. Okay, so we have an adjustable airflow on the bottom. Very wide airflow. And very easy to adjust, doesn't click into place, just smooth sliding. And a very large drip tip on there. So it looks like it's an adjustable uh, center pin there. Let's take the drip tip out. So the drip tip is derelict on the bottom. Um, so that's going to help with heat transference. Smooth on the top. We can take off this top section and there is where we're going to fill it, our top filling section there. Let's strip it down a little bit more. Okay, there's our base, our build deck. So we've got four posts, quite small holes. So two negative, two positive. Large airflow, bottom airflow there, coming directly underneath the cores when they're built. And some very large juice channels as well. And they're very large. We have an O-ring in here for the glass. So when we put the glass on, let's have a look at the space. So there's quite a lot of room for juice to be sat in there. So enough room for juice to flow through those large juice ports. Can we strip it down any more? Doesn't look like we can because the O-ring just slides around. Okay, so large chimney section which is detachable, O-ring on the top there, and we have Clauper logo on there with Clauper A1 written on it, and that strips down even further, which is gonna be useful for when we wick it. Okay, a little bit unsmooth when you're putting it back together, so not the best milled. O-ring on the top there, and that's our top section. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to stick some coils in this and wick it. So we've put some coils in and we got it wicked up and juiced up. It's just seven wraps either side around a three millimeter bit. A 0.4 mil canthal coming in at 0.522. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rebuild it and fill it up using the top fill. So first bit we're going to put on is our top chimney section. Now that's a little bit awkward to put on that one. It's not milled as smooth as some tanks. Glass section. And then we're going to get our top section and pop that on the right way around. Just hand tight, close off the airflow just so we can fill it. And we're gonna get our juice. And 
<laughs> we're gonna fill it very simple just down these slots but it just hold a fair bit of juice we should talk about how much in the technical specifications It's that simple. So we have our juice in there. So we're going to get our second top section and pop that on top. And then our drip tip goes on the top. And that's it. The Cloudper A1 filled up, ready to go. So there you go, Cloudport A1 up close. Let's talk a little bit about its technical specifications then. Well, the, the metal parts are constructed out of 304 stainless steel and the glass is Pyrex glass. Um, I don't know whether it's a peak insulator in there. It doesn't seem to be peak, but there's no information on that. Um, what else can we say? Top filling, very easy to top fill. Um, it's got a big build deck on there and you can just about squeeze three mil coils in there if you need to. That's what I've got in here. Um, with a deft manipulation, get them out of the air holes, it's uh, not too difficult to do. Got good airflow on it. Airflow, in my opinion, is comparable to a Lemo 2. Uh, so if you back to Lemo 2, this is very similar airflow. Although it does produce, because you can put dew coils in there with, and you can put the wattage up a lot more, it seems to produce a lot more vapour. Uh, the four post, uh, as we see now on the build deck, it's a nice big build deck. And uh, it's 22 mils across, so it fits on any 22 mil device quite easily, and it's 55 mils high. So uh, it's pros, and well, as we said before, it's quite easy to build on. Um, wicking wise, I found the best way is to get some of that wick going down those juice channels because the juice channels are quite big, as we've seen. So to prevent that flooding, I've uh, found for myself the best way is to stick that wick down the juice channels about halfway down. Uh, the styling of it, I do like the styling. It is a very good looking tank. And I do like these vents on this removable top for the top filling. Um, I'm not sure whether they're going to cool down the vape any. They might do because uh, the hook's holding a lot of air in there. And the chimney obviously goes through that, um, through that uh, actual venting there as well. It's got dual airflow both sides and that's very easily adjustable. And it's an easy tank to build on, as we said. Um, easy tank to build on, easy tank to fill. Um, it tastes good as well. It makes your juice taste good. It's not, um, it hasn't got any odd, uh, odd taste. It produces a lot of vapor, and it's you know it's just a nice tank to vape on. It's it's definitely one of my favourite RTAs at the moment. Uh, at the moment, I'm just running 60 VG juice in here. Um, I have tried 80 VG and it wicks that fine as well. Okay, so when you get your package, uh, what you get, you notice when I did the close up, um, there wasn't a lot in the box because it was the wrong box. Uh, this is just the review. They must have just stuck it in any box for me to review. But you're going to get um, a spare Pyrex glass. You're also going to get spare screws, which I wasn't too chuffed with, no spare screws. Um, so yeah, so you're also going to get a screwdriver with it. You're going to get those pre-made candle coils, but I prefer to build my own. Um, you're going to get some spare O-rings as well. Quite a few of them, three spare O-rings, three small ones, three big ones. And um, your instruction manual as well. So it's easy to strip down, easy to clean as well. All the parts are removable and interchangeable um, with other A1 tanks, obviously. Um, just like the styling, like the tank. Cons. Because it's a dual coil, it's uh, a bit of a juice drinker. And a potential con, even though I haven't clarified it yet, is it might not be a peak insulator in there. So uh, for really low bills, possibly not a good idea. But that is the Cloudport 
A1 RTA. Get that from vapor.gearbest.com. Thanks to you guys for sending it out. You can also find more information at it at the Cloudball website, which is cloudball.com. Um, so, check it out.